So a lot of you already have the hydrometer, and this is a super simple instrument. And we're just encouraging you guys to take a reading every time you measure your scallops. Not measure, clean your scallops. So every volunteer will get two cages, and these are what your cages look like. Uh, you should have seen it this morning. We had 300 cages out in the back with all the volunteers because every volunteer is getting two cages. And the idea is that this will limit how much you actually have to clean. So instead of every month, you have to sit there and take your brush and clean the cage every time, you'll leave your cage out to dry, put the scallops in the new cage, and then put that back at your spot. Does that make sense to everybody? Can you guys hear me in the back? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yay. All right, so your cage will differ based on where you're putting your scallops. So if you're hanging them off a dock, which honestly I think most of you guys are, this is what your cage will look like. So this is really simple. It's got legs. The idea is to pick a spot on your dock that, you, that remains submerged at all times. So even on the lowest of low tide, the scallops remain submerged. So for example, at our dock in St. Pete, our, we keep our cages and the minimum depth is like two and a half to three feet. So they don't need to be in a lot of water, just need to be in water. Okay, so I think there's only like three of you guys that are using bay cages, but these are the people that are using a boat or a kayak to go out to their spot. Same thing, it just has an anchor brick to put it and keep it on that same spot and a buoy so you can find it. The buoy has our permit number. Hopefully this deters people from taking it. We got law enforcement in on it, so they at least know, and we'll give them a map of where our cages are actually gonna be, so they're aware of where these cages are. So every volunteer, every month, will get these two cages, and in your packet, you also have zip ties. Uh, the zip ties are used to keep the, the cage actually shut, because otherwise it's gonna fly open, and there goes your scallops, and that's really sad, all that hard work that you've done. So, oh, by the way, if you, if I'm going too fast or you forget anything, we try to like spell out exactly how to clean in this brochure. So always refer back to this. So you guys are going to be getting different size scallops. And because most of you guys have docks, you're going to be getting scallops that are like that big. Like you can't even see them. So they are tiny, tiny. So yeah, this, if we just put them in the cage, they'd obviously fall through. So you're obviously getting a mesh bag. So <laughs> they're staying in the mesh bag for as long as it takes for them to grow enough so they don't need it anymore. The second they don't need it anymore, take them out. Because that means that they'll be able to feed more often. And feeding, she mentioned it, they're the easiest pets that you can have to take care of. So literally they filter feed, so you're not feeding them anything. All you guys need to do is clean. So you have to clean your cage, which I talked about, but you also have to clean your scallops. So this is the other side of scallop that we're kind of passing out, and these can go in the cage without a bag. So these guys would be perfect. So when you're cleaning these guys, especially these really tiny ones, they have really fragile shells. So the best way would not be to take your oyster knife and start getting everything off of it. Literally, what I do is I take my thumb and I just scrape, because this isn't gonna be like big barnacles, it's gonna be really tiny stuff. So you can take your thumb and just kind of go along the shell and make sure you get all the little barnacles, all the little tunicates, anything that's on the shell that's not supposed to be, just remove it with your thumb. Make sense? Okay. With these bigger guys, and hopefully your little guys will grow to be big guys, so you'll have to at least understand how to do this too. So the idea is same thing. So if there's a barnacle on the side, you can take your oyster knife and kind of just prop it off. So you can be a little bit more rough with these bigger guys. Their shells are not fragile, but you don't want to try to get inside the shell. But the idea is just to remove anything, again, that's on their shell. And the reason why we're doing this is because if a barnacle, let's say, grows over this, then the, the scallop over this side, like where it opens, then it can't open and it can't feed and then it's gonna die. Yeah. What about algae? Yeah, so that's, algae is probably less important, but you have your brush, so you can just remove the algae and dirt from the shells. And it's super simple, like that would take like two seconds. Um, so the, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know, cause yeah, you're gonna have to, yeah. So that's what's really cool about scallops. So they only live to be about a year. So within a year, they're gonna grow from this to what you do when you go scalloping, which is like big guys. So this can actually happen pretty quickly. This can be months. So this can be like two months and then three months and then you're gonna have this. So they will grow quickly if they're getting food. And we'll find out really quickly if your dock is good for scallops. And that's the point of that hydrometer. We get that salinity reading and your scallops are all not growing. We have an idea, oh, they're probably not in the right habitat. Does that make sense? So yeah. I don't know <laughs> if that helps. I, 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, you can. I think that would be, yeah. How about like a, a lot of docs, they don't have electricity. Okay. Well, thank you. That's a great point. So these cages shouldn't sit on seagrass at all. doesn't matter where you're putting your cage. doesn't sit on seagrass. The idea is like if you have a dock and it's not near seagrass, that's perfect. That's fine. Because that when they spawn and there's little babies swimming around in the water column, they'll find their way to seagrass. So we don't, even if you have a bay cage and you're putting it out with a boat, put it on a sand patch next to the seagrass. Because they'll still find their way to the seagrass. It just won't be damaging the seagrass or anything like that. Yeah. Yes. So if you're using a boat between five to 15 feet, so probably around the five to 10. If it's off your dock, then honestly, as long as it remains submerged at all times, you'll be fine. So ideal salinity. ideal salinity is between like 20 and 35 to 40. So they do better in higher salinities. Yeah. So the people that are using docks, is it better to have them where the docks and shade the cage or not shade the cage? Oh, shade the cage or not shade the cage. Uh, you could do an experiment. Let's give it to the schools. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a good question. So they can be, I would just use a rule, they can probably be out more than 10 minutes, but just, you, we're giving you a bucket, you can get water every time you clean scallops. So my, I would say not longer than 10 minutes. And they can sit in this bucket, they've been sitting in this bucket for a long time today. So they can, they can live, but they eventually need to get in their cage and actually get back into the water. And that brings me to today, when you're picking up your scallops, make sure you can get them, I think most of you have docks, but make sure you can get them in the water today because you don't want them sitting in your bucket overnight. That's not going to be good. Any other? Oh, yeah, that's bad. They don't like that. But most of the people with docks are going to get these small guys, and these are really fun to work with. We have a whole bunch of little yellow ones, and they'll be really exciting if they do grow. So you, they'll grow really quickly, and you'll actually get to see the growth. So I encourage you guys to post pictures because like one month they'll be this, next month bigger, and then by the end of this experiment or end of this time, they'll be full grown scallops and that's the goal. So does anybody else have any questions? No, okay, so you guys are all gonna be pros at cleaning your cage. Okay, well Scott's gonna show you actually how to pick up your cage. It's gonna be kind of, we're gonna have you